welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I am Marina, and today we're going to be doing an enormous Dollar Tree haul. So if you're in the mood to see a whole lot of stuff from the Dollar Tree, settle in for a long, long haul, get yourself a beverage and a bunch of pillows, and cozy on down with me, because this is a crazy amount of stuff, you guys. I'm going to try really hard to keep it under an hour, but... I might have to make this video into two parts. I might, because I really want to use a lot of these items, so I have to get them hauled. I have stuff from even, it's all mixed up. I just have so much stuff. That's all I have to say, but I'm going to go right into it. Uh, first thing, I picked up quite a few of these pleated face masks. Now, I feel like this has become a scavenger hunt item. You guys know what I mean, like where you have to go from store to store and connect the dots and get like all of the different styles of something kind of like with the axe now with these pleated face masks i have been collecting i have the buffalo check one and i have the tie-dye one and i have like a light plaid one like a light blue baby blue and beige plaid one and now i feel like this was like the level up up level up part of the game it's like this is the crazy stuff that goes on in my head when i'm hunting at the dollar tree i'm like ooh, level up level up you found camouflage this is a big big score because my son is back in school but i mean in the winter i would love camo my son yes this is so cute too but for sure for my son that is like a really nice, nice mask, all cotton. I can put, um, it has a pocket so that you can put like a coffee filter in it if you feel like you need extra coverage. And at a dollar, this is a great, great deal. These are really, really comfortable. They're made of really, really soft, nice cotton. They wash really well. And my son is in school, like I said, so masks are mandatory. I did pick up three of those, but we're not going to be wearing them at the same time. I just picked up three in case he needs a backup or in case I want one one day. I don't know why, but whenever I'm in doubt, I just buy three. I buy three of something if I think it's great, but I want more than one. And then if I want it for the shelter, then I buy as many as I can if it's fair. Um, another item that I picked up that I really love I love this book. You guys, wait, 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 wait for it. Okay, so it's Crown Jewels. Oh, it's tie-dyed. It has a lot of color. We know Marina loves color. Ah, obviously, I like a lot of color. But look at how cute. Do you guys see the paper? I could not leave that behind. Lo I love it. I love this cute little notepad. They had so many others, and I shared them in my walkthrough, but this one, it stole my heart. It really stole my heart because I just love the idea of handing someone a note written on paper with peace symbols on it. I obviously love the peace symbol. Every year, the Dollar Tree does make these square, like, bootleg Tupperwares. For the fall and for Christmas. And I always love to scoop them up. They're like the perfect size for prepping meals and saving them. And I, this year is no exception. This one says, hello fall. And I absolutely love this for like Thanksgiving leftovers. I picked up several. And happy fall wishes. How cute are these? But these are great really great if you are hosting Thanksgiving, pick up a bunch of them and give them to your guests to fill with leftovers so you don't have a bunch of leftover turkey. I'm not sure if you guys remember when I was announcing my bee giveaway, how I said I want to wear my shades that I put bees on them so I could be shady sometimes. Well, this does it perfectly. Be kind or buzz off. I think that this is like the perfect, perfect thing to hang on the bathroom door. We only have like one bathroom in this bungalow. So this is the perfect thing to hang on the bathroom door. So if you're not going to wait your turn, you could just buzz off. I'm always getting shooed out of the bathroom so someone else can skip me. And I bought it to hang on my bathroom door. I love, 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 love it. Isn't it so cute? And it's just so cute. I love it. I think it's hilarious. I did pick this up before and um, actually the dog chewed it up. So I picked up another one and it's for it's a gift for my mother-in-law. I was so happy that I was still able to find another one. Um, it is a calendar, but it has notes on the bottom. So the thing that I think is cool is 
once you decide what you're going to do with it, it says that it has this easy peel label. So I can just peel it off, I'm hoping, so that when I give, it's not that easy peel. See, that annoys me because you can't really see. It says easy peel label. Let's see if that's true because you can't really see it in the packaging and I'm giving it as a gift. So I would like it if it is not an easy peel label, but that's okay. She'll have to open it to see it. I was hoping that it was really truly an easy peel label. That would have been really cool. But sometimes when it says easy peel, it's, it's a big easy lie is what it is. But um, that's all right. It's okay. It's still worth a dollar. It's so, so cute. But see how cute those notepads are? Super cute. I don't know. But I was lucky to even find it because these have been long gone. But Max annihilated the other one. So, yeah, and he's been to obedience school, and it was sleepaway obedience school, so I had nothing to do with it. He's just, he's a tough cookie, that one, but he's getting there. He's starting to go outside. It's a miracle, you guys. He's using the lavatory outside. That in and of itself is exciting. So, yeah, I think she's going to love that, and I think a lot of people love this calendar. It's really, really gorgeous. If you like farmhouse, this is everything you want, and the back is like gold. It's just so, it's really, it does not look like this cost a dollar. This looks like it costs definitely more than a buck. I did pick up more of these Arizona green tea fruit snacks. I have to admit, I am hooked on these. There's something about how they taste. They taste really delicious. Um, they do have that like green tea flavor. And the flavors are original apple, mandarin, and plum berry. And it's called Zen Flavors. It's just really yummy. You don't get a ton of fruit snacks for a dollar, but they're really, really delicious. I picked up this book, and I literally think it is one of my favorite books that I have ever, ever picked up at the Dollar Tree. It's called Get Lost. Now, so I'm not here to, like, push everyone away. My last item was a Buzz Off Bumblebee sign, but this little book is the coolest traveler's guide like it says I've ever seen. Here's what it says. So I had to bust out the glasses again. It says, on the back it says, stop following everyone else's adventure. Start creating your own. If you're tired of seeing the must-see sights and, and desperate to get off the beaten path, you're ready to get lost. Hmm. Ever since my vacation, I feel like I am. This wildly different travel guide doesn't know where you are where you've been, or where you're headed next. Instead, it will prompt you with questions and send you on a journey to find the answers. It will ask you to embrace uncertainty until you're hooked on chasing it. It will encourage you to choose your own adventure and then live it. Simply answer a question, follow the directions, and get lost. Okay, I'm down. So, um, and the, evidently the writer of this book also wrote, uh, the Nocturnal Journal, and How to Be Happy or at Least Less Sad. So I, um, I'm I'm feeling like I'm going to have to buy both of those because I love the concept of this book. So there is the front. It says, Get Lost, A Traveler's Guide to Anywhere. So how you use the book is to just flip to a random page. And I also love, look, it's like rainbow. Do you guys see that? So, so cute. It's like rainbow. Really cool. So I'm just going to flip to a random page. Cross every bit bridge. Cross as many bridges as you can today. If there are no real bridges, cross metaphorical bridges instead. I, oh my God, I love that. So now I have to ask this. I'm going to answer this question to myself. Do you have a list of must-see attractions? Yes. Go to page 200. Okay, so I'm going to page 200. It says don't, and then it says look down. Take a photo of your feet at every point of interest you visit today. Well, it's pretty late and I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul. I may not be going anywhere. It says, do you feel ready? The an the question uh, answer is yes, I feel ready. Okay, 194. So I go to page 194. Then on this side, it says, be who you want to be. Now, these are just like little cute things to do, like additional little tasks. But the question is, do you have regrets? Uh, 
I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. So here, I sure do have a few though. Yes, go to page 34. I guess we all do when we reach a page past 34. So uh, I'm going to page 34 now. Um, reverse your regrets. Think of your biggest regrets and spend the day finding ways to let go of or move on from them. Well, I have definitely let go of them, but they still will always be regrets. Wouldn't they still be? Or am I supposed to be like, I'm so happy I did those stupid, stupid things. <laughs> anyway, have you tried, have you tried the local cuisine? The answer is yes. So you could go on and on forever. I'm not going to drive you guys crazy, but isn't this book fun? It is fun, right? It, I think it's fun. It's, it ha it's just a cute, fun journal type of book. It reminds me of a journal, but it's not a journal. But it does do a lot of thought provoking, and I I love it. I think it's a really I I have been I've pretty much read like almost every question. I just think it's fabulous. Then I love books like that. They're really like conversation starters. So then I I did show this book in a walkthrough, and I really really love it. It's really an incredibly adorable book. It says, life is God's best gift, wisdom from the ancestors of finding peace and joy in today's world. And this is the cutest book to buy up a bunch of and put together with like the little Buddhas as a gift. Imagine taking this book and the little Buddhas, putting them in a basket with some incense and candles and making a Christmas basket. It's perfect. Like just even the mandalas, everything about the look of the book. It goes with the Buddhas. It would just be the perfect gift. Now, I'm just going to open this book to any random page. And it says, if if two wise men always agree, then there's no need for one of them. Wow. That's interesting. It says, knowledge comes from diversity of thoughts. That's so true and very insightful. Then on the other side, it says, you have little power over what's not yours. Very true. And then it says, respect boundaries. Isn't that amazing? It's such a great little book. Okay, so let's just do one more. A house cannot be repaired when the owner is destroying it. Yes. A home is made of a shared vision. I love this book. I really do. Happiness is not perfected until it is shared. Oh, a single bracelet does not jingle. And then it says Democratic Republic of the Congo. I guess that's where they got that from. But that's so cute. A single bracelet does not jingle. That's very true. And you guys know that I love it when things make noise. So I need more than one bracelet. Um, I, Yeah, I just love it. It has a lot of it, it's got, it's a, it's a nice size book. There's a lot of quotes. It's really jam packed full of them. And they're really like not as common or popular quotes. And I just, I think it's a really, really lovely, lovely gift book for a dollar. If you see this and you think, you know, someone that might enjoy it, do not hesitate to pick it up. It is really a really cute little book. And, and the end of the, the back of the book says, Dot, dot, dot. The rest is what you make of it. Isn't that just beautiful? I love it. I love this book. I think it's really a great gift. I picked up several of those because I do have a few people in mind that I believe would really enjoy it as a gift. I picked up quite a few of the Raspberry Mocha Victor Allen coffees. They're um, 9.5 ounce. They're not as big as the can, but this Raspberry Mocha is so good. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it, but I don't usually like fruity coffee and I can't get enough of this. It tastes delicious. So if you've never tried it, definitely give it a, give it a taste. If you like, I love all things berry flavored. So I just absolutely love this coffee. Speaking of flavored coffee, um, I was able to find the sugar-free pumpkin spice flavored syrup by Sweet Sensations. And normally I can't really drink fake sugar products. This is sweetened with sucralose, which is the generic name for Splenda. But somehow, I guess because I use really little, but it does flavor my coffee in a with a good bang. 
Um, it doesn't upset my stomach. So I'm kind of excited to be able to use these Sweet Sensations products. I have bought the vanilla, the salted caramel, and now the pumpkin spice. And I really enjoy having them in my coffee. And I bought some mason jars with pumps for really cheap on Amazon. And um, I put my flavored syrups in them and I added them to my coffee bar. And I really, really like how they look. So you, you don't have to leave them in these cheap dollar store bottles. You can always put them in like a higher end bottle and then have them look fancy in your coffee bar, which makes me really happy. I was able to find these really cute little coffin shaped boxes um, to put candy in. I think that they're really cute for that. I picked up a few for some of the kids in the neighborhood that are going to be trick-or-treating. I like to make special little trick-or-treat boxes for certain kids that I know in the neighborhood. And of course, one for my son. Um, probably going to put like candy and some headphones and maybe some gift card to like his favorite steam video game whatever for halloween just a little but it's like a good place to put a bunch of little stuff for kids for halloween so i'm so i, I think i picked up six of those all together just for the neighborhood kids the next few items that i want to share with you guys are all by this new brand at the dollar tree called bys and they are a company that their products are designed in australia uh, I believe they are put together in, is it Puerto Rico? Can't see, it's really sad, but in PR and then something. Maybe they're put together in Puerto Rico. I don't know, but I will tell you one thing. These are really great products. This brush actually sells on the Walmart at for six bucks, which isn't a lot, but for a brush, for one brush, it is a lot at Walmart. And it is very, very good quality. It's really good quality. It's a synthetic brush. It feels like it's not though. Uh, when I first saw it, I was like, wow, is this like mink or something? And it has really dense bristles. So it does do a really good job of pushing the product like, it does a very good job putting your um, concealer in. I actually used, not this one, but I used one to put my makeup on today. And I think it worked really well. It's really different than what I'm used to. And it says, BYS Oval Concealer Brush is a high-tech tool used to professionally blend makeup into the skin. Although it's specifically shaped, al although the specifically shaped brush head is dense. The bristles are super soft. So it they are. It it's like you feel like you're petting a kitten actually. And um it says distributing the product evenly over skin offering an airbrush finish. So that is really like a really nice brush and I have to say that it does do a really good job. I was very happy. I've never tried a brush like this. I bought one in the past and I ended up giving it away because I was like, ah, I don't feel like trying it. But then this one felt so much better than the sassy and chic version that I bought a while ago that I felt compelled to use it. And I'm really, really, I may never go to another type of brush again. Then let's get, oh, oh okay. So the BYS a holographic lipstick. I have, I think I have shown it to you guys before, but I have to show it to you guys again because this is a great product. Um, really great. Now I will do say this. I did try it on naked lip and it turns a little pinkish here. I'll even put it on my skin. Do you guys see it? it although it's white, it does turn a little pink, which is why I kind of love using it as highlighter. I feel it does a really good job in the brow bone. And that is what I've been doing with it. And it's creamy, so it kind of moisturizes 
my skin. I love using white or uh, iridescent lipsticks as, in my brow bone as highlighter. I think that it's a really good thing to do, actually. And if you feel like it's too bright or too... I don't feel like it's ever too, like, like creamy. You can always put a little pressed powder over your whole face, but... I actually like that because I think that it's good for my skin when it's moist. Um, now let's talk about this contour palette. It is to die for. Really and truly, this is not, uh, I'm going to see what this costs. I'm going to Google it. I can't believe I didn't Google to see how much this costs um, online, but it looks really high end. So we're going to find out and I'll put the price up there for you guys in the corner right here. But it's a very, very beautiful contour palette. It does have a whole little, you know, kind of instruction manual on the back. And it comes in this plastic. I'll show you guys. I, I already have one that I've been using. I actually used it today in my makeup to show you guys that it does work. I think it works really well. I think I did a pretty good job following their contour palette instructions. Now, when you get it, I'm going to put these things back in, but I did use it. So it comes in this plastic container and it comes with this cover over the mirror and you take it off and you have a full size mirror right there. As you guys can see, look at the mess on my table full of hole. And I love that it does have a full size mirror so that if you want to do your makeup on the go, you can. That's a great thing. And it's also, even though it's in this plastic, it has an additional seal over the actual product. Once you actually get the whole thing open and you're ready to look at all of the different contour colors, those are the three shades of light contouring. And I put them on today under my eye. I actually use this more yellow one is what I have under my eye, which I'm I don't know why I'm putting it there again, but I just did. So just like the instruction says, I did put that yellow highlight in those areas and under my eyes. I used the yellow version and then I did put the um, dark contour here a little bit and here. And you can see and the dark shade that I used was this one. This one's too dark for me, and this one is not really enough, but it does have a lot of choices, so you can, you know, if you're tan, you could go up a little. If you're paler, you could go down a little. This contour palette is metal. That makes me crazy happy. Even if it's tin, it's still metal, and I think it's beautiful. I think that this is a really, really great gift. Do not hesitate to pick this up. This could go for so many shades of skin tone because there are three different colors of each light and dark in here. So there's a good variety of people that this can suit. It's a great, great gift. I wish that I could find a ton of these. I would love to give these out to people in the shelters. This is a really nice gift. Really, really nice for a dollar. A definite. And if you're lucky enough to get the brush and the contour palette, an awesome $2 gift that we'll keep on giving for the whole year because this is a great product. And like I said, I used it on my makeup today so you guys can tell how it looks and how it works. And the other product that I have to share with you guys that I used today on my eyes, as you can see, and I don't normally wear purples, but I did today on purpose. I used this little duo. I picked up a few of them. I did drop it and break it in half, but that's okay. Yours, if you find it, does not have to be broken, <laughs> but you guys know that I'm clumsy. So, but it, it actually didn't break. It just, but now it did. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how do I do these things? <sighs> okay, well, no eyeshadows were harmed in the making of this video, you guys. It's still okay. I can, I can fix it, I swear, but I did use it today, and it's really a nice eyeshadow. I am just clumsy. It's called 059 Ab Fab, and I have actually hauled this before, and it's in one of my giveaways even, but um, 
I, I bought some more of them. I was lucky enough to find some more. So I have a bunch of these and I'm definitely going to be giving them out at the shelter. And of course, the one that I opened for myself, I broke, but I absolutely love, love the colors in this palette. And I'm going to share them with you. I don't think I swatched it in the past. So I'm going to swatch it today. I'm going to swatch the pink and show you guys. It's really buildable. That's the one thing I could definitely say about it is that you could put a lot or you could put a little, depending on what you want to do. And it's very, very beautiful. Do you guys see that? That's what I have on my eyes today. And I put a lot on my hand, but I didn't put a lot on my eye. I just put a little bit of the dark purple in the corner and the light pink in the middle and the, the, and the inner eyelid. And I put the highlighter lipstick and that's it. These are all the items that I used on my eyes today. That's it. And mascara. Really simple makeup. I was really happy with it. And for two bucks, I had my whole eye look. You can't go wrong at the Dollar Tree. That's that. That's it. That's what I have on my eyes today. And the contour palette, the middle shade, the medium shade, I used under my eyes. And actually on my whole entire eyelid, I put it on first. Then I did share these in a recent walkthrough. And I'm going to share them with you guys now so I can put them away. Um, I was really interested in trying this York Peppermint Patty Hot Cocoa. It sounds delicious. I love peppermint flavored hot cocoa. I love, love, love it. And the only thing that there's no marshmallows in these. That really drives me crazy. But I do have a lot of marshmallows in my house. So I'm not at a loss. But if you don't have spare marshmallows... Blah. go ahead and try to say that if you don't have spare marshmallows you may not be into these because you're gonna have to pick up marshmallows but it is kind of an interesting flavor and you get six packs in each of them and then this is Hershey's hot cocoa mix sounds delicious I mean Hershey's a famous brand name you can't go wrong with they're 90 calories each and a dollar a box you can't go wrong guys there is absolutely no order to this haul, by the way. I picked up several of these Nerds Gummy Clusters. You don't always find them, but whenever I find them, I always buy them because the boys literally fight over these. They love, 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 love Nerds Gummy Clusters. And I'm going to start collecting a few little secret bunches of candy bags for their Halloween gifts so I'm going to stop sock those away for Halloween because they're hard to find, actually, at least in my Dollar Tree. I find it's kind of hard to find those. I do have a bunch of really gem books, if you ask me. This was a little gem for real. It says, How to Wear Jewelry, 55 Styles. First of all, the actual book itself is like a piece of jewelry. It's just really, really pretty. Again, the kind of book that... You might want to get a few copies of, sock them away. They're not humongous, just like the other smaller books. They're not huge. They don't take up a ton of space, but they definitely would be a wonderful addition to a themed gift basket. We're getting closer to the holidays, so I did pick up a couple of these because I just think that they would be great if I'm giving someone a bunch of little pieces of jewelry. I could put them in maybe even a cellophane gift bag in little bags and zhuzh it up with a lot of tissue and then put this book inside also and maybe a bottle of silver jewelry polish cleaner. I just think that it's a really cute book. It says how to wear jewelry and it's it says 55 styles and then it literally goes through all kinds of designs and styles of jewelry and how to wear it. And it's really cute. It's a very, very interesting little book. There's even like a whole chart, but I couldn't figure out what face shape I have. I have the gained a lot of weight in my face, face shape, but I think my face is mostly round. So it tells you like what kind of earrings you should wear. You shouldn't wear round earrings. Meanwhile, all I ever wear is round earrings, but I don't know whether they mean round like this because I wear hanging because it says like extreme drop um, for round face is okay, but it, top heavy earrings are not okay, which makes sense. I never, ever like earrings, 
that have anything on the actual ear and then get smaller. I don't like earrings like that. I always like earrings that are thinner at the top and then get big. And it says that that's a good thing. So it goes through like a whole bunch of different face shapes and what does not flatter you. Um, and it gives like, like advice on how to wear lots of brooches. If you know, if you want to go back into the eighties and do it right this time in your time machine. Um, but who knows? And it says like great lengths, like what, what length is good for what kind of outfit and what kind of body type. It's just a great little book, really interesting. And I just think it's a really good basket themed basket filler type. I love buying little books like this and adding them to themed gift baskets because they always make the basket look really high end. I did pass on these candles a while ago when they were in the Dollar Tree before. And this time around, they made their resurgence. And I have to say that I can't believe I didn't buy them the first time. They are so pretty. They really are. I don't know what I was going through. First of all, I have no idea what each scent is. It's like a guessing game. Like build your mind's eye memory game because you basically, this one smells like fall. It's like spicy, cranberry spicy, pumpkin gingerbready, I don't know what, but fall. Definitely fall. And I feel like it belongs in all of the rest of the mess that I have going on behind me of happiness and color. And I just think they're all really pretty. This one, it's very sweet. It's It has a wonderful smell, but I can't quite, it's sweet. This also smells like f spicy floral, if that makes any sense. It smells like spicy floral, but these make, it just, they make everything worth it. Once you use these candles up, you can use these cute jars to store little things in, which is definitely why I picked them up because I just want to be able to have all four of these in my little, I guess, craft area in the future where I'll have like paper clips and thumbtacks and things like that in them. I just think they're gorgeous. I love them. And to be totally honest, I don't like the smell of this one. It almost smells like nothing. Um, the white one hardly has a smell at all. If it hardly has a smell now, it doesn't matter how much I breathe it in. I can't really smell anything, but I'm going to burn it because I want the jars. I think the jars are absolutely adorable. This pom-pom just brings me sheer joy. This one has a really nice fragrance, though, so that makes me super happy. The blue one, it smells kind of beachy, kind of ivory soapish, and this pink one is like spicy flowers, like spiced floral. You guys know what I mean, like fall floral scented, but all together, when you have them all four together, they look super cute as little trinket dishes when that's all been said and done. So I'm excited to be able to use these up now while I like to burn candles in the fall and winter and have them for future for little storage purposes. Speaking of candles, I did pick up another one of these candle sticks and I actually have this awesome, isn't this spooky? I'm going to be using this in my Halloween decor actually in the future. So I've had this for a while. I'm actually burning one of the Sure Scents. Um, this has a good throw. The Amber Woods. I can actually smell it from way over there. It has a very good throw. I did tell you guys that. So what this is, is I actually bought this a while ago at a garage sale for like, I think maybe 50 cents. Maybe it was like bundled with a bunch of things. It's actually tramp art. Isn't this the coolest thing you've ever seen? It's made out of two empty cans. I think this is like a tuna can crushed down or something. Is that not amazing? It's called tramp art. I just love it. And I bought it to put, I bought this candlestick. I'm going to glue it actually to it. 
and put it in my Halloween decor. But isn't that cute and spooky looking? I love it. Love, 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 love that. So these are amazing. These suave body washes are literally amazing. I can't stress this to you guys enough. Do not pass them up. There have been so many body washes that have trickled their way through the Dollar Tree lately that I actually passed, passed up a lot of them when I was in the store the other day and only picked up the um, sandalwood version of the Lever 2000, which I regretted doing. And I have since made up for it in droves because I picked up tons of all of them to use as gifts for the shelter. I don't know what was going on in my head that day, but I was like, oh, I don't want any of these. And then when I left, I was like, duh, you should have gotten them for the shelter. But sometimes I just forget. And I just I'm like, I have so much, I don't want to buy anything. But these are incredible, you guys. I have already started using one of these charge, and it's citrus heaven. Like, it's so, it smells like lemons, mandarin oranges, just delicious citrus. It really does give you a charge. It, it feels like you're eating a vitamin C in the shower. That's what it actually feels like. Like, I'm having a vitamin C. Like, I'm chewing a vitamin as I'm... It, I feel like I'm eating it as I'm showering and using it because it's so like penetrating. It's really, really good. I can't explain it any other way. And this smells really manly. I love the smell of it. I've used it myself. I got it for the boys. It smells amazing. You're going to love it. Um, if you like kind of like a manly, purify kind of smells like Old Spice meets Ivory Soap. Like a ivory soap version of Old Spice, if that makes any sense. And it really is delightful as well. The boys really like it. So that is a score. Then I did, of course, <laughs> go back and pick up a bunch of the sandalwood. I'll put a picture of it up above. I'm already using it. I am obsessed with that one. Absolutely obsessed. But the Charming Sweet Pea also smells delicious. It does. And I know people are going to love it. It, it smells like tutti fruity, bubblegummy, sweet, happy, girly, if that makes any sense. These definitely make really nice gifts. If you get um, one of these Lever 2000s and one of those really cute body puffs that the Dollar Tree is offering that are like individually sealed and maybe some razors or maybe some other type of a scrub or a face product or a face mask, put it in a little gift basket and you can make a really nice gift for like $3. But this Lever 2000 is really, really nice. And honestly, if you go to a regular store, I think it's like $4, three something. So it's definitely worth the buck at the Dollar Tree. I did pick up some more of these uh, Polly caramelized biscuits. My husband literally loves them. I can't seem to buy them fast enough to keep them in stock in the house. So they're going to be really devastated when there's no more of them. And they're not individually wrapped like the um, Biscoff biscuits are. But you get like double the amount for the dollar. And the fact that they eat them so quickly, I don't need to have them individually wrapped. It's just a good size to have. They really, really love these. They're actually so good with coffee. If you haven't tried them yet, definitely give them a shot. I did pick up one of these orange, absolutely beautiful oil burners. And I would like to mention that some of the fragrances of the luminescence candles are actually stronger and better than they've ever been. Like this apple, apple cinnamon happens to be really highly fragranced and I really like that because I feel like you're definitely doubling up your throw power by doing what I'm about to share with you guys. So I bought the oil burner and since they have made the opening bigger, you can actually fit the larger tea light in here, which I like. So I've been doing that with these. So you light this, you put it in your oil burner, right? You light one of these candles and you put it in the oil burner and um, it fits in there, which is like a nice little miracle that didn't used to happen. It looks super pretty. Then I get the same fragrance in the oil and now you're kind of having double, double the 
scent power in a way. So I'm going to put some of the luminescence apple oil in it. The luminescence in the little glass bottles like this, these smell really good. The little plastic bottles, those are crap. Don't buy those. Little glass bottles, the amber colored ones, they're really good. And that actually looks really pretty. And I can smell it. It smells really, really good. So for $3, I have plenty. And this is going to last me quite a few times, like quite a few uses, plus the oil. I think that's a great buy for a few dollars and would make a really nice little gift. Like you could pick up the burner and the oil and the candles and for three bucks, make a nice gift basket or a hostess gift if you're going somewhere for Thanksgiving or for Halloween or anything like that, that's a good pickup for a few bucks. You could get the blue one and use the linen candles and the linen oil, and there's just a lot of choices, and you can suit anyone's style. I think it's a really great little gift. I have picked this up many, many times in the past, but I picked it up again because I actually think it's a pretty good razor for a buck, and I like the fact that you could just throw it in your bag um, in case you go to the beach or realize that you need to shave. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. I don't remember if I've ever opened it before, but I really like this razor. It's really convenient for if you want to shave somewhere other than your house. So this is what it actually looks like in case you guys have never actually seen it out of the package. But when I went on my little road trip, I took the one that I had before. So I definitely wanted to replace that because I just think it's a nice little thing to take on the go. And it actually works really well. It's a pretty good razor. So I'm happy with it. Very, very happy with it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is really definitely cooking up a storm. My little oil burner, but it smells amazing in here. So I really like the potency of the larger candle and the oil together. It smells like an orchard right now in here. So for a few bucks, I do think that that gives great, great throw. I picked up several of these safety cones. One, because I definitely use these during the holidays to do different types of um decor, holiday decor. If you guys missed my Easter tree, I plan on doing a Valentine and a Christmas one. And it all starts with these cones because it's really easy to build like a tree on it, tree shape on it. And it's just fun. And my Easter one came out amazing. But I also, well, my son's not going to ruin it so I can have it after Halloween. He is going to be like a zombie construction worker. His school does this thing, the new school that he started, the high school, they do like a Halloween school for the whole neighborhood and all the kids from all the different grades come trick-or-treating at the high school. And it's really, really cool. And I'm so excited he's going to be a part of it. But um, he's going to be like a zombie construction worker. And I did get him the reflective safety vest, which is basically one size fits all. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. There it is. It's perfect. So he's going to have that and probably like a black t-shirt or something under it. Jeans. And I got him the safety goggles. Because it just will make the zombie crazy look even better. And he can have these cones. But I'm going to probably put like skull stickers all over it. So he could be walking around like a zombie. And have like skull stickers on this. And um, yeah. So that'll be his Halloween costume. Maybe we'll get like one of those electric sounding jackhammers. Or something crazy. I know I've seen them online. They're like 20 bucks. But... For sure, this is the makings of a very inexpensive Halloween costume. And then if you want to add more stuff in, you can. But for three bucks, you could be a construction worker or a construction worker zombie. Anything could become a zombie in the whole zombie apocalypse zombie world. So, of course, my son's going to be a zombie because he is obsessed with zombies. I was so happy when I found this claw clip. It just seems like, I don't know, really high end. Matter of fact, let's, it's, it's metal. It seems really well made. 
It really is metal. You guys heard. Wow. Do you guys hear that? It's like for real metal. Let's try it. I wonder if it'll actually stay in my hair. So I actually have my hair up today. I don't normally wear it up, but I figured I'd give it a shot. I usually use these really little ones from the Dollar Tree. They work well because I have fine hair, but I was kind of hoping that this one would work because it just looks really classy and high end. It's really a beautiful, wow, it works really well, actually. Ooh, I am really happy with that. It's not sliding. I thought it was going to just slide right out of my hair, but it actually has little grippies in it. So, you guys, that's a really good deal for a dollar. That is a very, very high-end looking clip for a buck. It really does look super high-end. Doesn't that look really expensive. It does. I think it looks like you paid at least 10 bucks for it and it was just a dollar. So when you could buy something for a dollar at the Dollar Tree that honestly looks like you bought it in a department store. Yeah. And this like hollowed out kind of look is really in style. It's really trendy and on trend for just the buck, you guys. Great, great pickup. Then I did pick up this garland and do you guys see what is happening here with these kitties? I can't. It's so cute. We're going to have to get this open and really take a look at it because it's going to go in my Halloween decor. I have bought like a bunch of things because I would like to do like a, what? Oh, wow. Oh my God. You get both Happy Halloween, and they're separate. This is a great deal. Oh, of course, it's backwards. How cute is that? Halloween. Oh, and there's a little spot. This is an amazing, it's made of felt. This is so cute. I love it. Wow. Oh, my God. Do you guys see that? That is amazing. That is so cute. Wow, I'm really impressed. I didn't even know. Did you guys know that it was two separate? You guys, you would literally never know. <laughs> Sometimes the Dollar Tree just likes to be like, shh, something cool is in here. If you want to buy it, just figure it out. Like that's, it doesn't say two different garlic. It doesn't say anything, but that is a phenomenal little deal for my little... Halloween backdrop that I'm going to do. Of course, I'm going to squish these more together because they're kind of too far apart. And the word happy is a little smaller. But so you have Halloween with a big gap in it. Hold on a minute. Okay, so yeah, so you have Halloween. Do you guys see that? And it has the kitties and a crow, a cat and a crow and a spider. So, so cute. And then the happy. I really love this. I am so glad that I picked this up. Who would have ever known that there's two of them? But I also bought for my Halloween, I'm going to do my mantle. And then I did pick up some of these scenes. And I've already hung one up. I actually, I have a back door that I usually put curtains up on. But I decided to try this cheesy plastic backdrop and instead of using it this way buy two of them and use it this way and then put this creepy Halloween scene across the two curtains I'm gonna try it we'll see how it looks and I'm gonna put the happy Halloween banner here over the cauldron it actually already says happy Halloween but it's faint so I'm gonna put the garland on there. We'll see how that looks. But I thought it would be fun because my mantle is like here with the TV and then the door is there right past the coffee bar in my teeny tiny little bungalow. So I thought it would be fun to do my October video over there. And yeah, so I'm going to use these as a backdrop. I actually do have a Halloween backdrop, but I don't know where in the world it is. Um, and if I don't like the plastic curtains and I feel like they're super cheesy, I can always continue to look for my Halloween backdrop and switch it out. I did actually pick up one of these stylus pens in this yellow because 
This color is just everything. I did show in my walkthrough all the colors that they came in. And these stylus pens are really, really nice, you guys. They are really a cut above other stylus pens. They write really nicely. They have like a that smooth, like velvety kind of gel finish over here. So they feel good when you're writing with them. I feel like they write really well. They do have four colors. I'll show you guys. Um... I'll just write with the blue just to show you guys what they look like when you're writing with them, but they're really smooth and I really like how they work. And here's the black, but I like that they have four colors, all of which work well. Even I'm writing basically upside down right now. And you guys see that really cool. And there's the stylus and for a dollar, it's always a really good deal. I really I really like these style pens. I really do. They write really well, and I just really enjoy having them all over the place. So I always seem to pick up one from every collection, I guess, that they make. I was able to find some more Fox in the Box the other day, so I picked up a few for future giveaways or whatever, or a de-stashing box. I do still do de-stashing boxes. I do have a bunch of makeup left. If you guys are interested in de-stashing boxes, please get in touch with me and I will give you all the details. The profits from the de-stashing boxes actually go to my nonprofit organization and will help purchase toys during the Christmas season for the children that are living in the shelters. Each box makes approximately $6 profit, which is exactly what it costs to buy a really pretty good gift at five and below for children that are living in the shelter. So the purchase of a de-stashing box actually goes to a really good cost. If you're interested in more information, please let me know down below and I will give it to you. I did pick up some of these, actually some, quite a few, because I think that these are cute little stocking stuffers at for the shelter because tic-tac-toe is a game that all kids love. And... Of course, it has the rules in case they've never played tic-tac-toe before. It's metal. The fact that it's metal is awesome. And it just comes with these easy peasy magnets. And I just really think that that is a really cute little $1 gift. Plain and simple. Great for a buck. Really, really cute. And then if your kids lose everything in here, you can spray paint this little metal box and do something else with it because... A cute little metal box for a dollar, nothing to sneeze at either. I love that it's, I love metal objects. And this is four in a row, which is kind of like connect four. I do kind of feel like there are a lot of moving parts here with this game and they probably will ultimately get lost. But the fact that they're little magnets kind of makes it not that hard because if you keep everything contained in here and... If, so if you pop them all out and put them on one side and the kids are playing on the other, they might not actually lose them. But it, they are really little parts, so there is that to keep in mind that because they're so little, it is possible that they will lose them. And then you're definitely going to be at a loss without the pieces. You could do like connect the dot kind of stuff with like erasable marker. You can even use regular marker. You can always erase it off of here. But it is Connect Four, and if you can hold on to the pieces, it's a cute little game. But for sure, I think my favorite is the tic-tac-toe. Easy peasy, bigger pieces, and these are fun little games for a dollar. I picked up, I know that this is the craziest thing, 10 movies, action collection, Steven Seagal, um... I don't know, but I have a feeling my brother will like this collection of crazy Steven Seagal movies. He finds Steven Seagal to be amusing, so he'll just watch these movies and laugh. And for a dollar, I definitely picked it up. It's a dime a movie. How could I go wrong? Even if he just watches a couple of them and makes fun of them the whole time, he'll enjoy it for a dollar. I picked this book up, this absolutely adorable book up for my friend Kathy. She loves animals. She was the one who sat with my dog. And you guys saw her uh, shopping with Pamela and I the other day. Um, she loves animals so much. And it says, 101 uses for a Yorkie. Use number 74, forever friends. And it's just, it's such a cute, look at these 
like seriously, these dogs have better hairdos than I do. This is so adorable. I kind of look like they do today because I put my hair up. I did it for the, oh my God, look at that. We look alike. Look. That's, that's so weird that I put my hair up and I, I didn't do it on purpose, but, um, look at how adorable they are. So many, it says beach bum and then, uh, -huh, this one is a swimsuit model. Oh my God. Oh, I wanted a little dog. Why, why? I did not get a little dog. I got a lot of dog groundskeeper. And then this one says hiking guide. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. I cannot put Max in a bag. That is for sure. Bookends. She's going to love this. Neighborhood Watch. Now that's so cute. Yeah, this is the type of book that my friend Kathy will love to just look at. It'll make her smile. She loves animals so much. This is a perfect little stocking stuffer for her. So don't look, Kathy. I did also pick up this Buffalo Bill 17 movie um dvd set it literally has 17 features hero of the west buffalo bill again because my brother just likes to have these old movies and he just puts them on in the background and lets them play and he'll enjoy it so 17 movies for a dollar of course that's a crazy good deal so i bought that i don't know if anybody's ever seen it it was nuts it's called Stockholm. I decided I'm going to send this to him too, just in case he's never seen it. Because we watched it and we thought it was the craziest thing we'd ever seen. So I picked up a copy of this for him so he could watch it too. It's about Stockholm Syndrome and these people that rob a bank. It's the craziest movie. Has anybody out there seen it? And then I was saying how I like to buy the cheesy, scary movies from Dollar Tree and the boys always hate them and I force them to watch them. Well, here's a gem of a Halloween find called Trick or Treat. It looks cheesy. I'm not going to get scared watching this movie. I could tell you that right now and that's why I like it. Um, middle age can be murder. <laughs> yes, it can be. And uh, I'm going to love this cheesy movie. I don't like to get terrified. I just like to be entertained so it's perfect for me. And I did pick up this. I thought this was kind of an interesting buy. It is an entire series called The Titanic. And it was originally $29.97 at Walmart, I guess. Obviously, there it is. And it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So I picked it up. And we can watch that. It's like a it's like a mini series, I guess. Two hour bonus. The original four-part miniseries for a dollar. We'll watch that. We run out of things to watch often. So, yeah. And then these are in Spanish. And it is Peter Pan in Spanish. But I picked it up because sometimes I have clients that don't speak English. And um, I'm sure that they would like to have a DVD. And sometimes I do buy on eBay or different garage sales or whatever DVD players and I give people that don't have cable or anything to watch in the shelters um, some DVDs and a DVD player. So this huge Hugh Jackman is in this. So honestly, it's probably really good and it's in Spanish. So I picked up two because I do sometimes get clients that, like I said, don't speak English and feel like it's a good thing to have in my little um, arsenal of things to help people get through the day. So I did pick these new little table sitters up. I actually think they're fabulous. Um, you can do things with them. You can um, make, I don't know why, every time I pick up these hexagon shaped things, I want to do something like a tear tray or something with them. I think I may have to because you know what? I think I might have to because every time I pick them up, I'm like, because every time I pick up anything that's this shape, I al I always turn it this way and want to do something with it. So maybe that's what I'm going to do with them. Turn it into some kind of a tear tray. We shall see. But I do love the word inspire. And I actually love the shape so much that I don't think I'm going to ruin this one. I'm definitely going to keep it. And 
I think I'll put this in the windowsill of my desk area. I think that's like a nice place for it. It's important to be inspired when you're working. Um, I love this loved one for Valentine's, but I may end up painting it or doing something else with it, but it's a nice chunky heart. And I just, I just really like it. You can put it this way, like sideways. You could do a lot of things with it. I just think it's really cute. And then Dream Without Fear is beautiful. It's just a beautiful thing to have. I think they're all really nice, actually. And you could probably do something with this as well, other than what it's intended for. But again, these are super cute to put over your door frame or in your windowsill or in your bookcase, wherever you want to stick them. They just are chunky and cute and they look substantial. So I do want to swatch this Forget Me Not Hard Candy Beautiful, Beautiful Velvet Mousse Lipstick. I have actually shown it to you guys before, but I've never swatched it and I picked up some more of them. So I'm going to swatch it. It's number 1217 and it is really a beautiful, beautiful lipstick color. So we're going to get this open and you guys know it has the mirror and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous item. And I really like this color. I didn't think I would, but it turns out it's like one of my favorite. It's really retro, very 60s and very cool. Very, very cool color. If you see this forget me not do not hesitate to pick it up it has a very 60s vibe to it I really really like it it's peachy really pretty really pretty then um actually the lipstick I'm wearing today which is kind of worn out a little is one of the colors that my brother's girlfriend Brandy sent me so I wanted to share it with you guys it is actually a Dollar Tree purchase but I didn't purchase it um, it was sent to me. It's number 1694. I didn't get a chance to swatch it the other day. So I'm just going to share the color with you guys. Crushed Crimson. If you missed my friend mail video, you should definitely go and check it out. And so it's like a red, but it's like a spiced, shiny sparkle red. I completely love it and I really love these glitterazzi um sparkle lipsticks the glitter goes all the way through I don't know I've heard some people say that they're not super glittery yes they are I really like them I think that hard candy does glitter better than anybody and um that's all I have to say. They're highly glittery. They're really wonderful. I actually really like them. And I really like the look of makeup that I was able to do with the two items that I bought. So today I have this $1 item sent to me by my brother's girlfriend that is Glitterazzi Crushed Crimson, the Ab Fab Eyeshadow Duo, and the Holographic lipstick by BYS. So that's $3 and the contour palette $4. And that's what I used for my makeup. For four bucks, I did all of my makeup plus mascara. So that's kind of amazing. I literally even did my under eyes with the contour palette. I used the highlight instead of cover up. So that's crazy. That's an amazing deal. And you know what? I'm going to swatch this just so we have like a whole swatch going on. So this is cranberry. I thought this would be, um, when I read the name, I thought it would be redder, but it's not that red. So those are the two colors side by side that it comes with. The sparkle is on the outer end and the, um, liquid lipstick is on the inner, like, you know, closer to the other color. So there that is. It's a beauty. I love all of these Glitterazzi dual-ended sparkle lipstick things are incredible. And this color is called Plum Shine. This reminds me of the Flawless Floozy that I love, but it's like a little darker. Let's check this one out as well. It's beautiful. Do you guys see? It looks purpley, but 
this might be a little darker. I might like this more. So here is the liquid lipstick. <gasps> Ooh, that is pretty, pretty, pretty. These are really gorgeous. I'm kind of in love with them. I never used to like shiny lipstick, but if you're going to do shiny, oh my goodness, look at that. It's like, I don't know, like what? It just, it's something else. It really is. I might have to wear that tomorrow. So that is the sparkle lipstick right there. And that's the liquid lipstick. That is like something out of a fairy tale movie. Isn't that, I don't know, sparkles make me so happy. I, I want to put it on over that one. So I actually did put some on over my lipstick and darkened it a little. I wish that they made a red like this. If they made a bright, bright red with sparkle dual ended, I would have to buy that for regular price. I wonder if they do. I'm going to have to check. And then this one seems to have gotten a little damaged in shipping. This one is called Dream Queen. It looks very light. We're number 2045 Dream Queen. So let's check that one out. Yeah, it got damaged in shipping, but it's still pretty. And we're going to check it out. I'm going to put... Oh, what? No way. You know what? The craziest thing of all is that I didn't think I was going to like this one and it might be my favorite. Oh my goodness. This reminds me of 90s lip gloss. Wait till you guys see that. Do you guys see that? Look at that. That is the sparkle lipstick and then the one on the inner side is the liquid lipstick. Doesn't that remind you of like 90s that reminds me of late 80s lip gloss. Yes, it does. But all of these are very, very beautiful. I'm obs I'm going to look and see if they have a red one. I want a red one if they make it. But I have to say that the actual sparkle lipstick is really, really pretty. I think I might actually try wearing pink lipstick. You guys know that it's not really my thing, but this type of pink lipstick I think I would wear because it's just over the top. It really is. And I like that. And I, I really like the plum that I put on over that. I think it's a really pretty color. I really like it. So those are the items that I was sent by Brandy that are in the California Dollar Trees. And when I was in North Carolina I or Georgia, I did find some more glitter vibes so I'm adding them to my stash to um, have for destashing boxes or giveaways. I did pick up a few and I was excited to be able to add them to my stash. Also, I just wanted to share this item. It's Suave and it's a 15 ounce bottle. It's a two-in-one smoothing shampoo and conditioner. It's Vanilla Blossom and Almond. I don't know if anybody out there has ever tried this, but honestly, this is a really, really great scented product. It smells like Jergens. Ugh, it's so nice that I just felt like sharing with you guys that if you're in a pinch, it's pretty good shampoo and conditioner. It really does a nice job, and its scent is amazing. So for a dollar, give it a shot. These two little beauties have been on my high priority wish list find desired items from the Dollar Tree for the longest time. I honestly thought that I was never going to find them. And then poof, they appeared. And they are really, really nice. This one says love lives here. And it has the eucalyptus little sprig already built in. It's really, really cute. Do you guys see how cute that is? You could like, it's so lightweight. You can hang it on your cabinets or your wherever in a window on your input, it, add it into a wreath. I just think that they're actually gorgeous. And this one says home sweet home. It's really just a really cute little wood cutout kind of MDF wood, but so pretty. It looks like real wood. I think they're both really nice. You can probably paint them or change their color or do whatever you want with them. But I like 
I really like them just as is. I think they're marvelous. I wish I could see the word home, but that's an easy fix. You could just, for some reason, mine, the leaves are covering the word home. So I'm going to adjust that, but I think it's adorable and I'm so happy that I finally found them. Have you guys already found these? Because I really have been patiently waiting for these for the longest. I was like, oh yeah, I found these. I could go home now. I felt like I had really gotten hit the lotto when I finally found these. I think that I did buy a bunch of candles lately. Sometimes you buy a lot of candles and then there are months where you don't get any. But these are so pretty. I do love glass colored candles. I do. I, I seem to gravitate towards them. Last year they had those vintage anthropology looking ones. I bought like so many of them. To this day, they're my favorite set of candles. I think I have like four sets of them and I have them in windowsills. I use them all the time. And um, when I saw these and I was in, I was in Virginia, Ashland, Virginia, when I saw these the first time, I was like, these are absolutely beautiful. I truly love them. I think they're literally gorgeous. They are gorgeous. I like when I see them all together. I don't know why, but I love to burn candles that come in all these beautiful colors all together. And I always end up burning them in a rainbow order, like red, yellow, blue, green. I'll probably burn them like that. And um, this is lavender lilac. Hardly has any scent. I'm not going to lie. These are not about their fragrance. These are about how pretty their glass is. They're faceted glass and they just, I think they're going to burn beautifully. Um, I have to say that the mint spruce does smell good. It does have some scent. I don't know if when I burn it, it'll have any throw at all. I have a feeling it won't, but I love how they look. And this one is called like blue flower. I don't get it. I don't, and it has hardly any scent at all either. And then there's Blue Garden. The yellow one is called Blue Flower. I'm not making it up. Blue Garden does have a little bit of a scent, but they're, they're so, so, so pretty. Aren't these so beautiful? Did you guys pick these up or did you pass on them? Let me know. I, I did pick up one of these LED projector lights and it's a witch and a haunted scene, if you guys can see, but I'm going to put some batteries in this and put it on in my bathroom and show you guys exactly what it looks like. It looks really fun. It does take, what does this take? Two, I don't think I'll be able to see it even with the glasses on. It's teensy weensy minuscule. Let, let's see about that. It uses two AAA batteries. So I'm going to put batteries in it and see how it looks and share it with you guys. Because I usually think that these are amazing. I really do usually love these. So let's see about this year's. Here is what it looks like. Just two feet away from the wall. If I go really close, you can't really see it. So the farther away I go, the better it looks. I'm four feet away from the wall now, and it looks spectacular. This is a very, very nice item. And in case you guys didn't notice, I do have the thankful sign, and I've somehow put... Well, there's a big mess going on here now because of all the stuff I've been putting back here as I'm hauling it. But I picked up a few because I'm going to send one to my mother-in-law and one to my aunt. I think they're gorgeous. I absolutely love them. And I really love the sunflower one. I feel like it could be up year round. It's so, so pretty. It is my favorite one. I was so thankful when I was able to find it. I picked this Where the Locals Go book up for my cousin. He loves to travel. He even traveled to Thailand during um covid like the height of covid so he's not scared of traveling at any time and this book has 300 places around the world to eat play shop celebrate and relax in and i just thought that he would really enjoy taking a look at it and mapping out his next vacation because he's always going to all sorts of exotic places and definitely really open to all of these possibilities. I think he's really going to like it and he's going to be getting this for Christmas.
with other stuff, of course. Okay, guys, I'm going to share a few more items with you, and then I'm going to close the video because I think it's crazy long. I'm not sure. I had to stop a few times, and I can't tell how long the video is. Um, these crew socks are the Dollar Tree's Dios de los Muertos kind of Day of the Dead version of men's socks. The pink ones are supposed to be women's sizes, and the teal ones are supposed to be men's sizes, but... Here's a little secret. I bought these for me because I have a big foot and I feel like these will be good for me. Let's take a look. Um, they look like they're going to really be a decent sock for me. Um, yeah, those are good. I'm happy with that. And how cute are those? Aren't those such a cute, cute print? I love, love Day of the Dead. I really do. So for a dollar, I know I have tons of socks. I've bought like tons of gold toe and all that stuff but come on you guys day of the dead socks for a dollar how can you go wrong you just can't how fun is that i did pick up some of these crazy dramatic ioni lashes for future giveaways because it's always good to have these and some giveaways they're really really super dramatic looking if i put those on i would really look they just don't work. I, I can't do false eyelashes. I want to be this person. I really want to be this person, but I'm just not. It doesn't work for me. I, I can wear them when they're individual or when they're really, really small false eyelashes. These I, I really, it would, I would just not have any eye. It just somehow never works on my eyes. So I do enjoy buying them for future giveaways. And that's what I bought these for. I recently showed in my walkthrough all types of labels that they had by Jot in the school supply, office supply section. And I did pick up a couple. This one has 40 pieces. I think these are so, so nice for just a dollar. 40 labels like that for just a buck and 40 labels like this for just a buck. And I just like to use them for all kinds of different things to label. So I picked up a couple packs and they'll last me probably a year. Last but not least, I did pick up some of these Kiss Fashion Design Nails. They are really, really gorgeous in this teal and daisy print, French manicure style nails. And no glue needed. They already have the adhesive. These are really beautiful. So, so pretty for just a dollar. Aren't those gorgeous? Like really like a work of art. Really beautiful. And like I said, I picked up a couple packs. You only need one pack of these because it comes with 24 sizes in one package. And there's doubles, so this is a really great deal for a dollar. No glue needed. You don't need a second pack. A dollar does it all. But I picked up two because I do think I'm probably ultimately going to do, in the future, an all-nail giveaway. So I think that I'm, I've been kind of buying all kinds of nails to add to that. That's it, you guys. That's everything I can share in this video. I think it might be a super long one, so I hope you had a good time watching this haul, and I hope you saw something that you've never seen before. Let me know what you guys are hunting at the Dollar Tree, what your latest finds are. I love hearing these comments, and um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.